good. Good morning and, and welcome to FOSDEM. My name is Mark Reinhold. I work on Java still. Um, so I, I was putting these, these, uh, these quick slides together for, uh, for this, this presentation this morning, uh, the state of Open J JDK, which I've, I've been doing now for a while. And I ran across a logo that you've probably all seen. As you know, a couple of years ago, we celebrated Java being 20 years old. It's now old enough to drink in many jurisdictions. <clears throat> and it occurred to me, you know, this is 2017, and this is the 11th time I've been at FOSDEM, the 11th time many people from Sun and then Oracle have been at FOSDEM. So if, if, I'm not, if I don't have a fence post error, this means that OpenJDK is 10 years old. Since all the, all the source code was released in May of 2007. So, you know, just looking back a bit, um, you know, at least speaking, spe speaking personally, uh, thank you everybody for your support. Uh, you know, I, I fondly remember the warm welcome that, that uh, us folks from Sun had 11 years ago when we first came to FOSDEM, and it was us and the free Java crowd, and I think it's actually fairly amazing what, uh, what we've all built together. So thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, so. As usual, we've had some growth. Um, I, we, we have some improvements I'd like to, to talk about a bit, uh, and then speak a little about, a bit about the present and, and the future. Uh, in OpenJDK, we have a structure of, of groups and projects. There were, there were no, no new groups this year, um, or this past year. Uh, we have had a number of, of new projects. Uh, S390 export, those of you who, who really want to run Java on mainframes, you can do it. Um, JDK 10, you know, nine, nine, is, nine, is, 9 is starting to wind down. We need a, need a place to start doing work for 10. So JDK 10 is spun up. We've got forests going and some, you know, some of the initial sort of paperwork, busy work, change sets to change version numbers and, and source and release levels and, and all that stuff is, is floating in there. And then there's a, a call for votes active right now on Project Amber, which I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more. Uh, later on. Anyway, so, so we've, we've got some new projects. We've got a bunch of new committers uh, in, in this past year. The ones in orange do not work for Oracle. So that's, uh, that's four, 46 new committers, uh, seven not from Oracle. The non-Oracle ones are range, range from Intel, Red Hat, SAP, and uh, one uh, Lenaro, one, one person from Lenaro. So that's, that's good. We have some new reviewers. Re reviewers have, have a little more stature than, than committers. They have the authority to review change sets going into the release projects. Uh, so these are, these are people with a lot of experience who have, who've earned, earned a lot of trust. Um, the, the ones in orange don't, don't work for Oracle. The ones whose last names are in orange used to work for Oracle recently. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Shipilev. Well, so yeah, so they're still a little tainted. Um, at least their, their first names are tainted, and their last names are, are, are better. Um, yeah, a, a, a Alexi, uh, in a in a tragic career move, decided to leave the company and go to Red Hat. They're, oh well. Um, Michael Haupt is is off doing doing other stuff. So anyway, so we so we have new reviewers. That's all great. Improvements. The vulnerability group. Uh, Lawyers. Um, so I, I spoke about this, was it three years ago now here? Or was it only two? Yeah, one year ago, yeah. two? Two years ago, I actually did, did a 30 minute presentation here with, with the basics of the proposal, the idea to have a group in OpenJDK that um, un, unlike any other group has special dispensation from the governing board to talk about things in secret because when you're talking about security issues, you need the ability to do that. And I think everybody understands that. Um, to make all of that work, there needs to be a legal document that the lawyers of not, not just Oracle, right? Look, we can spread the blame around, all the big companies. Uh, you know, lawyers from all, all these companies need, need to re read it and, and vet it and agree that, that it's reasonable. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm told by George Saab that we have a near final document that there's just one detail 
left to iron out that may or may not require additional changes to the document, with any luck, we'll be able to get this done, what, next few months? <laughs> George says thumbs up, next few months. So definitely, definitely maybe. <laughs> oh well. Okay, um, room for improvement. So there have been a couple of, of, of fairly big sore points in terms of process and infrastructure. And you know, because there, there are still things that, uh, that were done inside Sun and then continue to be done inside Oracle. Uh, and, and this is, you know, it's not, it's not right for what is supposed to be an, an open development community, so we've been working to fix those. One of those issues is, is the mysterious CCC, this mysterious review body inside Oracle that, uh, that sometimes gives people a hard time because they're making changes that are <clears throat> blatantly incompatible or, ha or have other issues. The other is the whole hotspot build and test uh, problem where you know, by now we have a number of experienced outside committers into the hotspot code base, uh, but we still maintain the convention, the, the, the discipline, which is valuable uh, to, keep, to keep high quality. The, you know, any change to hotspot code has to go through an Oracle internal build and test system. And well, uh, obviously this is, this is not a good thing long term. So <clears throat> I'm happy to be able to report some progress on these. Uh, there's a, a proposal for a new group before the governing board right now uh, for a, a new group called the Compatibility and Spe Specification Review Group. So this is to replace the mysterious CCC. So a draft of its charter is here. Uh, you know, the, the, just to be clear, this is, not, this is not a group of people that's, to, that's expected to create things or innovate things, it's, you can think of it much more as, as it's, like, it's like the editorial board of an, uh, or the, the, the editorial staff of a newspaper. Their job is to look out for consistency, to look out for, um, you know, make, make sure things are motivated, to make sure that when, uh, when an incompatible change is being made, that it's justified and that its risk is understood. And sometimes we do <clears throat> choose to make incompatible changes. So we need, we need to make sure everybody knows about those. You know, and finally, consistency. Consistency with, with the interfaces. Or, you know, when, an, when an interface is being changed, it's important to be as consistent as reasonable with surrounding interfaces, with the overall conventions of the platform. So the initial membership of the group is, is here. Doug Lee still doesn't work for Oracle. Uh, and and he, you know, he, he, is, he has been one, one of the principal people uh, reminding us of the problem of the CCC. So as punishment for, for that, he gets to be on it. So we, we have prototype support for this process in the OpenJDK bug system. Uh, it's, it's, it's reasonably lightweight for, for a simple change. You know, you, you, you create a C, you would, you'll create a CSR issue, you fill out some information, what's the problem you're solving, what's the rough shape of the solution, what are, what are the details of the specification that you're changing? Uh, and we expect the, you know, the, the, the process itself will be ironed out by the initial, the initial group members one, once the group is up and running, which should be, should, should be soon. But I expect it will be a, a fair, fairly lightweight, um, uh, la lazy consensus type of thing uh, where a, 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 a proposal will go in, it'll be, it'll be on a week timer, say, and if nobody objects within a week, then, then it's just approved, unless somebody decides, oh, this is big and I need more time to think about it, then they can put it in a pending state and go off and think about it and, and come back. But then, of course, they're obligated to let, let the submitter know what the story is. So that's, that's the proposal there. Um, I'm pretty hopeful that we can get this done in the next few months. All right. The second improvement to, to, to address the hotspot build and test problem is uh, an experimental mechanism that we're calling submission for, forests. So I emphasize that, size that this is experimental. Um, at least two people in this, this room, room Volker, Volker and Andrew, have, have tried this out, so they've, they've seen the details. So this is a, well, it's kind of a cheap hack. <clears throat> and, th and thinking about this problem, uh, 
more, more than a year ago, it, it occurred, you know, it, it, the, you know this, this whole problem, well, you've got an internal build and test system. Externalizing the whole thing is a huge effort that, well, yeah, eventually we want to do, but we, you know, is, there some, is there some cheaper thing we can do first with the infrastructure that we have without building any, you know, some new conduit for code to come in? Because we, if we have some new conduit, then, you know, Oracle internal network security people will get all worried and you have to go through six months of approvals and it's just a nightmare. Well, we already have a conduit for getting code in, right? It's called Mercurial. We can make as many Mercurial forests as we want. You know, that's easy. That's an approved input channel. So this notion of submi submission forest is, is it, it's, a, it's a forest on hg.openjdk.java.net. You can create a branch there, put your patch in, push that in, and the internal build system will pick up that patch, do a build, run all the tests, and let you know what the status is. And if, obviously, if it doesn't work, you, you've got more work to do. And if it involves some, some Oracle internal problem, then an Oracle person is, you know, Oracle is obligated to find a person to help you. But if it works, which is the common case, then it will automatically be merged into the hotspot master. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Here's, here's an example of, of how it would work. You'd clone, clone the submission forest, set, set, set the, set the def, def path for it. Make a new branch. In this case, we're just making some fake branch with a silly issue number. Um, here, we're going to put the date on the readme. Wow. Commit that. Go get your code review and push that. If you push that, you know, within some reasonable amount of, amount of time, it usually, usually takes around an hour to do all, the, all the, the internal build and test stuff. You'll get an email from an internal bot saying, yes, it worked. And right after that, you'll get an email notifying you that the change set went, went in under your name. Or you'll get an email saying, no, it didn't work. Here, here are some people you could maybe contact to help you resolve the issue. So it's not an ideal solution, but it's some progress. Uh, there, there are more details on it uh, at this, this wiki page uh, on wiki.openjdk if, if you want to have a look at, at, at what's going on. So this is still kind of experimental. We're, we're, we're working out some kinks. Um, Andrew and Volker have been very, very helpful in, in some initial trials, but we'll open this up more generally to people who commit regularly into Hotspot fairly soon. Do we still need uh, web revs if we're going to do this? Do you still need web revs? Well, you still need code review, how, how, how you do it. It exists on the branch, on the source, on the, the server, right? I, 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 I think the, 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 me, the medium of your, of your code review is, is between you and your reviewer. Yeah, okay. So, you know, if you, if you just want to e email a patch around and they're happy with that, then, then that's fine. Um, OK, so that's another, another improvement. So growth improvement present. So there's this big thing called nine. It's, yeah, we're, try, we're trying to get it done. Um, there's there's, there's a, a, a fair amount of stuff in it. There's, believe it or not, a fair amount of stuff in it that's not Jigsaw. Um, despite what you may have heard. So here here all the, 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 the you know, projects of various sizes feeding into it. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not, not going to go through these in, in detail. There are a whole bunch of JEPs, 89 of them. I'm certainly not going to go through these in detail. Uh, but if you have any questions, <laughs> if you can see them, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're all here. Uh, the, the, JEP, the, the JEP process has wor worked out reasonably well in terms of la la letting us track things at a finer, finer granularity than project, but a bigger granularity than, than issues in, in, in the bug system. In terms of schedule, we are right about there. So we're, we're in ramp down now. We're trying to get a handle on the overall bug count, trying to figure out you know, are, are there important bugs that, well, we really don't think we can fix in time. Um, and you know, and this we is everybody, not just people who work for Oracle. Uh, you know, and it need, need to be def need, need, need to be deferred to the next release. Um, uh, are are there low priority bugs that we can just shuffle off? Uh, all, all that sort of thing. When we get to ramp down phase two, the controls will will, will you know the, the knobs t will tighten a little more, uh, and and we'll be entering a mode where uh, ev where eventually only critical bugs can be fixed. So we're still aiming to have a final release candidate in early July and a GA release in late July. And to the best of my knowledge, those dates are still realistic. But it's software. Anything could happen. <laughs> Beyond nine, number of active projects. 
um, well, or not so active projects that used to, that still might be nice to see in some release after nine. Not saying it would, not, not saying any of these are bound for ten or eleven, twelve, or anything in particular. Um, a Amber is, the, is this new project uh, that Brian Getz just recently proposed. The, the, the goal of Am Amber is to explore uh, some smaller productivity-oriented Java language features. So it's, it's, you could think of it as some in complexity scope as somewhere it's somewhere it's somewhat more than coin was coin was really just kind of sanding off some small rough edges you know lambda was big you know this big stuff um, Panama and Valhalla are, are also reasonably big Am amber is is somewhere between that some of the the ideas that uh, Brian wants to explore there include local variable type inference and uh, enhanced enumerations and, and some of the some of the leftovers from the lambda design, some some things that could be improved in in lambda expressions. Memory model update. This is a, a project Doug Lee and some others started. It would sure be nice to see some progress on this. I'm not sure. There is a progress. There are var handles. There are, well, there are var handles. So var handles are part of that, but but var handles are a feature in the JDK. Uh, the memory model is this complex document with lots of symbols in it and a lot of math. And we really need so the, we, 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 we need the people who love doing that stuff to update it. Um, I, I enjoy reading it from time to time. I don't. <laughs> it's been, I, I don't. I don't have the. I don't have the bandwidth to, to work to work on that kind of thing myself anymore. Sadly. Anyway, memory model. Yeah, it'd be nice. Panama is about interconnecting uh, Java and native code in a better way than JNI, because we all know JNI kind of. <clears throat> Sucks. Intentionally so, by the way, uh, for those of you who don't know. Shenandoah, new GC, making progress, getting there. Maybe that'll show up. Uh, and Valhalla is, uh, is for value types and generic specialization, which is a huge change, uh, not just to the language, but also some fairly deep changes to the Java virtual machine. OK, um, I work for Oracle, which means you shouldn't believe a word I've said. And we have a few minutes left for questions before the timer goes off and the recording stops. Yeah. Mario, we have a mic for this purpose, right? We have a mic with a switch. Never mind. Oh, no, it works. OK. <laughs> yes. Those tests from this, uh, for those uh, statement forests, are they derived from Oracle or just uh, written by a community? So, and how frequent they are uh, enhancing? So the, the, the tests that are run on the internal build and test system, some, some of them are the tests that you find in OpenJDK, the usual regression and unit tests. Um, Others are, are more akin to performance and robustness tests that are internal to Oracle in, in the long term. We'd like to publish them openly, but right now, we don't. Thank you. Oh, I assumed this role. <laughs> you get your exercise that way. Morning, first, Tom. first of all, I, I, I have to congratulate you that page with all the gems that go into nine is so cool. There's so much stuff in there. Uh, congratulations for getting it all in. Well, congratulations to the people behind those gems. I, <laughs> I, I, I merely collate them. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. Nine is, uh, nine is a pretty big release. Uh, my second thing is I have a lot of passion for languages on top of the JVM. And I'm wondering if you could say a word or two about, about the state of that. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, uh, languages on top of the JVM are, are a wonderful thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an old Lisp guy. I, lo I love Clojure. I play with it. I write, li write little things in it. It's, it's very cool. Um, if there's more stuff that, uh, that we can do to make, make them run better, we should, we should think about doing it. Um, I don't really have much more to say. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't track all those different language communities closely, but, you know, JRuby is clearly really healthy. Charlie might be here somewhere. If not, it'll be here later. Charlie and Tom are here somewhere. Um, now they have their own dev room, I think. Oh, they have, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Ruby dev room, I think, right? Yeah, okay. It could be. 
I'm sorry, J Ruby different, but yeah, I mean, we've, we've hit, there's J Ruby, there's Scala, there's Clojure, you know, and a, and a whole a whole collection of, of of somewhat smaller uh, projects there. I mean, there's just this this guy doing small talk thing now. Um, no, it's great. It's cool. It's, awesome. It's not just about Java. This is the question. It's so as you mentioned that you plan to introduce some improvements on the build process of the OpenJDK. In particular, do you plan to make the build easier for Windows? Because it's uh, quite difficult to, to build OpenJDK under Windows. It's a lot easier than it used to be. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I, I don't know of, of, of were you going to reply to that? OK. Um, I, I don't know of, any, of, of anybody who's, who's Planning to do more work on that. If you wanted to show up and, and help do some, you know, a, a proposal would, would would be welcome. I, obviously, Windows is, is kind of not really the primary development platform and is not the most pleasant platform to develop on anyway. But there it is. Uh, so, no, I mean, five minutes left. Where's the where's the mic? No, no, because the recording won't, won't get it, and, and if I repeat it, I will, I will not get it right. Uh, a bit of a question about uh, Jigsaw, and is OSGI community happy now with what we have in Jigsaw? Uh, that's off topic. That's the next talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if there are no other questions, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick answer, which, which is, I, which is, I don't know. Um, I mean, I. There, there, there has always been a prominent OSGI person on the, the JSR 376 expert group. Um, we, we, for a long time, it was Peter Creens, and now it's been Neil Bartlett. Um, they, they, they appear content. Uh, you know, I think at, at this point, people understand that Jigsaw isn't OSGI, that we're not using OSGI to modularize the platform because we can't. There, there are things we need to be able to do that OSGI can't do. OSGI is still a useful technology if you need the dynamic life cycle stuff and, and all of that. Keep using it. It'll, it'll keep working. Um, Mark, I have one question. Um, we have reduced the footprint, for example, by using Jigsaw. The footprint of the GVM is small, smaller now. The question is, uh, have anyone tracked um, what's the footprint of a fully working system running Java? Like uh, if you take uh, a kernel, a uh, user space programs, what's the minimal footprint required to run OpenUDK? That, that's a good question. I don't know the answer offhand, but we should measure it. Okay. Xerxes was asking a question that I, I don't know if you're going to address this in the next talk, but as a performance analyst, I'm wondering if you have any numbers or charts for us. No. <laughs> Can you talk to, you know, kind of the state of open JDK performance a little bit? Eight mm. and nine? Are you still making pretty dashboards like I did for you before? Oh, yeah, they're, 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 they're still dashboards. Uh, performance. <sighs> Performance is hard. I mean, Chip Eleven knows this, right? Yes. <laughs> Performance is is is, no. is 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 really hard. It, it, I, it, is, it is It's not worse. I would say it, that it, it, it's <laughs> it's not it's not worse. Um, we've had some we've had had some enter entertaining and entertaining adventures with Jigsaw because now, at startup time, well, you've got this module system that's going and looking for modules and reading stuff in and doing resolution and building a graph and setting all the stuff up in the VM. Oh my goodness, startup is going to really be horrible, um, and for a while it kind of was, but we but we put we 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 pulled some tricks uh, and and invented some new techniques that got almost all of it back. So startup of you know the trivial you know hello world thing is is pretty close to what it was in eight, um, you know, and and in terms of, of of mainline you know performance when everything's warmed up and all that. Well, you know we've continued to 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 invest in in C2 and other aspects of the runtime yeah. system. Uh, and, so, yeah. and, and and since there are many jabs yeah. that if you want to know about performance it's probably prudent to just go to these jabs and see their progress because they usually have the performance comparisons on mm -hmm. their target workloads. Like compact strings for instance improve yes. some 
very string intensive workloads so you can see what's there. But really the easiest way to do is just download the JDK 9 early access build and try it yourself on your application because... Or, or build your own if you prefer. On Windows. I, I, on Windows, <laughs> if, you're, if, if you must. That's entirely up to you. All right, so uh, time is just about up. Can Thank I you ask very much. A, a quick Andrew. one? You didn't mention perhaps one of the most uh, dramatic things that's gone in really quite late in the process, which is AOT compilation, uh, which oh, is, is, yes. is, a, is a pretty big deal, I think. AOT is a pretty big deal. It's still experimental, but it works, and when it works, it, it kicks ass. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.